Today's tutorial will be using Camtasia to take this image of a claw and creating this animation. The skills that we will be learning in this tutorial are basically manipulating image files in Camtasia and then the second skill is how to use custom animations to create animations. So for this project, I want to change the project settings. You can change it to 4K or 1080p or whatever and change the frame rate. The important thing here is changing the background color. I want to change it to white so that we can see the clock really well. You could change it to green if you want to do a green screen animation, but white will work for this tutorial. So the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to open up this image file in Inkscape. Uh, Inkscape is free software that you can download. I'm not going to go into details for how to use it. I'm just going to quickly show you what I am going to be doing here in Inkscape. So the first thing I want to do is change the canvas size to be the same as the canvas size in Camtasia. So in this instance, I will be changing it to be a 4K image size. So now I want to make the clock to be basically as big as I can to fit the screen for the animation that we will be doing. With this clock, I can do Control Shift G that will make it so each part of the SVG file is separate. And I'm doing this so I can take out the hour hand, the minute hand, and the second hand. I want to go ahead and save each part of this clock so I can use them separately for the animations. In Inkscape, we will take each object and save it as its own image file. So I want to take this minute hand and I'll have it pointing to 12 o'clock basically. And then what I want to do is I want to make the image file a perfect square. So I'm going to come here to document properties and I'm going to change the size of the canvas to be a perfect square that fits the object that I have. I'm going to create this circle here. This is just going to be kind of uh, my axis point or a rotator point. I want this dot to be in the very center of the screen. And then I want to line up my second hand or my minute hand so that it will turn along this axis. So I'll select that. I'm going to go ahead and center it in the page. And then I'm going to move this minute hand so that it's going to basically overlap where the, where the dot is. I'm doing this to allow me to be able to rotate the entire image and it's going to rotate along that point. I can always manipulate this to be the hour hand if I want or second hand or I can change or I can change it to be basically whatever size I want. So I will go ahead now and export this as the clock minute hand. Now we can have a look and it is the clock minute hand. The image itself is actually a perfect square. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and make an hour hand. I've changed the size of the hand and I've moved it so it's on the axis point again and I'm going to go ahead and export this as well. Okay, now that we have all of the clock images, we are going to go ahead and animate the clock. So let's drag that in here in our media. And then we can drop in the clock face. I've created a track called clock face. And I want the animation to be minute long. So we'll go and drag this out to be one minute long. 
Then we'll do the same thing with the hour hand. Drop that in here. You can see it's in place because the image is a perfect square. We'll do the same with the minute. Okay, so now we have all the, the images in place and we want to animate it so it works like a clock. So let's start out with the hour hand. If we go to animations, let's go here. Okay, so we've got the hour hand. You can see as I rotate it that over here, it shows what the rotation is. And you'll notice if I go all the way around one time, it's 360 degrees. That is what you would expect. And for this animation, I want it to go all the way around from 12 again to 12 in one minute. And so for the hour hand, we will do 360 degrees. So we want to come over here to custom animation. And you can see it's just a small place here. We want to drag the animation out to the duration of the entire minute. And as we move this across, you can see nothing is moving. But now, if we go to rotation and type in minus 360 degrees, it looks the same because it was 360 degrees, but when we move this across, it rotates and it is going the wrong way. So we are going to change this to 360 okay so now we go like this and in the space of one minute it should go all the way around and if we play you know this it's starting out really really slow um, slower than it should be so let's pause it here and right click if we go to enable easing you can see it's on auto easing and so it kind of starts out slow, goes fast and then ends up slow let's have this be linear so that means when we're at the, about the halfway mark it should be about the halfway mark and that is looking correct all right so we have the hour hand done minute hand we do the same thing but we are going to do it 12 times so i am not a mathematician i am going to get out a calculator we will do 360 and we will multiply that by 12 comes up with 4,320. Okay, so with that information, we'll go to the minute hand and we will do a custom animation. Drag this out as well. And so we will go on there and as you call it's 4,320. 4, and then as we move this, can see when this comes across to 12 this should be at one o'clock because it's made one full rotation but it is past that and again that is because of easing here let's make this more linear and now as we at, are at one o'clock it's back at the 12 and all the way around that is like a normal clock that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Here we go, press play. You can see the clock is moving, boom, one o'clock, boom. That's how we want it. So now, you can just save this document. We've got a clock, um, so pretty cool. We can group these together. So if we want to, we can make the clock smaller, move it wherever we want, press play, and it's still animated. So if any project we need to animate a clock, we can put it wherever, we can make it as big or as small as we want, and we have an animated clock. At any rate, this is the animation that I want, so I am going to export it as a local file. Yes, please. Animated clock. Awesome. And we will wait for this to render. All 
All right, and here is our animation. And as I said earlier, if we wanted to use this for another program or something, we could have made this screen green or really whatever color we want and do chroma key to take out the background. So you can have this clock running in the background, but that's pretty cool. We have an animated clock is really simple and easy to do in Camtasia.